meet and start it with prayer. You know, our God is sovereign over all, and there's nothing more important. And I really like the fact that you put prayer at the beginning of the meeting. We should lead everything with prayer. And with that, I'd like to recite Acts 16.37. And Paul said unto them, we were publicly beaten and thrown in prison without trial, even though we are Roman citizens, and now they want to put us out in secret and shame. No. They can come and escort us out publicly. Um, I'm assuming you guys probably saw the news. It's been on NPR. It's been in every major newspaper in every major nation in the country, every major city in the country. But a uh, week before last, I won my appeal pro se at the 11th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals against Catherine Fernandez Rundle over the issue of me recording Chief Roll. The court held that the statute did not apply because Chief Roll had no expectation of privacy. So I want you all to now know the recording I have that proves that Chief Roll committed the hatfish of a trick of official misconduct under Florida Statute 838022, Section 1, Paragraphs A, B, and C, is now all admissible in a civil and criminal court of law. Further, we now have recordings also proving that Chief Roll committed perjury while he was under investigation during this investigation, as well as Chief Roll thought it would be a smart thing to defame me and my wife per se in this meeting, under oath, recorded. This was several months before he blocked my wife's complaint where many officers from Homestead are calling my wife a whore. You might want to think about that. I've asked you, and you, know, you probably should really consider that before you renew his contract next time. Last thing I'd like to say is uh, Monday I filed a public records lawsuit against several WSH attorneys and the city. Uh, Ms. Sewell is party to this suit, even though she is not a named defendant, for refusing repeatedly to allow me to personally inspect the records. I expect an immediate hearing, and I expect none of the attorneys to play any shyster games in trying to deny that or delay that. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mr. So we're going to move on to business from the city manager. Yes, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, I just want to make sure for anybody that's been listening tonight that uh, I think we're doing the best we can to allow people to get up and say what they want to say for their three minutes. And we don't interrupt. And we don't interrupt specifically because there is concern that if somebody wants to say something, they should have their three minutes to say something, and that's your rule. But it's important for people not to mistake our silence with acceptance of what's being said, or the fact that if somebody says something for three minutes and is not interrupted, that somehow that means what they're saying is true. Opinions are one thing. Uh, other things that are said in, in a phrase that sounds like a fact is not necessarily a fact. And so particularly tonight, as employee after employee has been unfairly smeared, We've sat silent at respect for their, their right, their First Amendment right to say what they want, but that does not really make it right that employees would be smeared like that. And so I'm not going to go from one example to another. I'm just going to say I just want everybody to understand when somebody says something for three minutes, that's their right to say it, and we're just going to continue to respect that right, but we're also from time to time have an obligation to say, you know, when people accuse employees of crimes, and it's one after the other tonight, just understand somebody is saying that, that doesn't necessarily mean it's true. Mr. Manager, I, I want to say that um, the, the, the allegations that we've been hearing are, you know, consistently the same ones. And, you know, you have brought in a good team you are leading a good team. You're doing a good job for the city. There's um, obviously you're not going to be able to make everybody happy and don't expect to. But I don't think you're going to have any problem with your bosses that are sitting up here being able to all say that they're happy with your services to this community. So that being said, I'm very happy with your services to this community. Um, Anything from the city attorney? 
Mr. Mayor, I have to request. The council is surely aware that Chief Roll and Detective Aquino are under investigation Absolutely, for official Mayor, misconduct. I have to object at this point. I, to have him personally attacking uh, the chief of police and uh, individuals in the police department is totally inappropriate. So, if he's got if he's got comments about a specific issue, he should raise it. But to attack somebody's character and integrity at a public meeting is is an outrage.